Skullation really likes a, a fine pack one pick one. It's a totally reasonable pack one pick one. I think I might showdown. Try doing something with this. Oh man, the seven mana nickel bolas. I take it back. I want the coalition relic. Robert the Rich might be better than Hollow Blade in this cube. There's not like a lot of sweepers and stuff for Hollow Blade. It was the third land? Yeah. It was the third land? I mean, they needed to have three lands to, to trigger it, which is usually tricky, but their deck was really good at it. And they had a secure Tribe Builder in play already. So like with the secure Tribe Builder in play, it becomes like obviously incorrect to go down to four life with channel. But you have to be thinking about Omnath at all. And it just like wasn't even on my radar. Yeah, Showdown's fucking sweet. Pretty much any cube, I'm tempted to draft Showdown. Cards is really good. The main difference between this cube and regular Moto Cube is that there's Talismans and Signets, not one or the other, and then there's also more blue cards. More of an emphasis on blue. Let's grab Shieldbreaker. Kari Zev's a much better attacker, and like Maul's pretty good. But I think Shieldbreaker is gonna be great here. Because it's not just Signets, there's Talismans and Signets gonna have even more mana rocks to blow up than usual. Oh, there's only six signets and six talismans. Interesting. Oh, that's still more. Well, fuck this pack, huh? We could take the fairy and maybe think that we're Jeskai. guy. I'm gonna grab the cruiser. Or we want fire blast. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Make sure we cut off red aggro. I think Vanguard is a lot better than Kenra. I do like the haste on Kenra. There's a chance that white just becomes a light splash. It is the reason I'm gonna take Kenra over Vanguard. One drop, why not? Why not? Why wouldn't you? Hey, Halfling makes the two months. Halfling says, I was your last game. Hope all is well. Yeah, GG's. <laughs> sorry, sorry that I played so sloppily against you, Halfling, and um, and you're welcome for the the free win in that second game. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, your deck's sweet. Good luck and such. This is Mangucci's cube. He's been like personally tuning it with uh, a friend group in Italy. Provoker's good. I think I wanted the dual land. Make sure that I can show down more consistently. Yeah, Provoker's good, friend. We already have plenty of two drops, right? One of them's already blowing up mana rocks. We don't have any fixing. We've got showdown. I'd like to play showdown. Could take Batter Skull in case we get Stoneforge. Oh shit, what up? Kinda like that better. Even though we're probably not playing the Batter Skull. 
Yeah, just because I take one card doesn't mean that I, like, hate the other card and think whoever likes it oh, shit. <laughs> should play Hearthstone or something. I don't, I don't know, like, it's not a it's not an insult to you or an insult to the card or anything. It just means that I like the other card better. That's literally all it means. Hey, attack you. Thanks for the 58 months. Hey, Sorbius. Thanks for the 14 months there. Appreciate y'all. Man, Luminarch's really good. God, 7 mana Nickel Boss still going around. Inferno Titan's really good, too. We don't have the curve for Inferno Titan, though. I think we just take Usher. It's like one of the better one drops. Much better than Batter Skull here. I don't know Ishanam. It might be it might be completely gone if we if we because we started doing betting. So I think it's gonna be a lot easier if we build to get to a million points. But right now I can't do it because there's like already a backlog due to COVID. Seven people have already redeemed fight me. So I had to cut it off at some point. If I bring it back, like if I clear through the backlog and want to bring it back, it'll probably be with like a much higher point cost. But it's not impossible. Mana Crypt, hell yeah. Mana Crypt is so good in a Rowell Master deck. Hey, Schmitzels, think the 420 bits. Fortunate plays at hype. When are you able to bet? We've been doing bets. I haven't been managing them at all, at all but, but some mods have been running them. Whenever folks want to. How do you do it? I don't fucking know, Arison. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Slash prediction. Cool. Was Clamp a consideration over Warboss? Nah. Clamp, Clamp is like sweet with some of our cards. Clamp's certainly sweet with some of our cards. Sweet with like Usher and Earthshaker. Route. It's it's with a lot of it, but when you've got Mana Crypt, turn one Rowl Master or turn one War Boss is just it's just like one of the best things you can be doing. It doesn't matter the cube, it doesn't matter the format, though that's a good turn one play, and you want to like maximize that. You want to have a better chance of having that happen. I like Zealous Conscripts a lot. So when channels into a big fatty, you just like take it and kill him with it. Hell yeah, J25. So FDK is good, but it's not good in every matchup. It's certainly not good against combo. Metamorph is the most versatile card here. We already have some fives. We don't need Siege Gang at all. Not a Cold Steel Heart deck at all. I think I want Archon. I think I want this shit. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. It's a hoser for storm. I mean, time vaults in here. Is Voltaic key in the cube? Or do you have to be tricky with this? I think I'm just grabbing hero. Do I have to take twin? Absolutely not. My red aggro decks that splash for twin usually end up doing very poorly. Oh, 
Shit. But I'm thinking about grabbing a red fetch in case we get a platome. There's a banishing light here. We've got one thing that triggers Young Pyromancer so far. Hey, CMFP! Thanks for the 36 months, the three years. You like port here? I'm not gonna add ports with this mana base. We already have a colorless source in Mana Crypt. And we've got like Fire Blast, and we might play a double white card. For the record, I never like port though. Yeah, I guess we're taking Kiki Jiki. I'm not thrilled about it. Throwing Lodestone Golem in the sideboard for Storm almost makes more sense. We can like turn to it off Mana Crypt. Yeah, hey, fuck it. The nice thing about Kiki Jiki is it doesn't just work with the Zealous of the Zealous Wheels, but it's also good with Resto if we get that. I almost like Kenrith. Super late Monolith. We don't have a, a Monolith curve at all. Is there a chance I would play Kenrith? I don't think so. I don't think I want to play either of these cards. Getting instead of uh, FTK would have also been fine. Right now we're light on removal though. Probably not enough to main deck FTK because again it's not good in every matchup, but I think I do want it in the board. I think we're, we're doing fine, folks. We only need, like, what, seven playables? Do we have any filler? Yeah, I mean, we, I could main deck the FTK if I had to, and Sword. The Sword of Worm piece might not even be bad. Random Flyers and such. It was a Forge Master. Hey, Drawy. I've been enjoying the cube so far. Hope work was good. Yeah, I'm playing Lodestone main because we have Mana Crypt. So Lodestone, like, turn two on the play. Like, turn one, you play something off to you, Lodestone. And then they just have a rough time. Look at a wheel mind sensor out of that pack, I think. I almost have this fucking plate on the floor. So I'm jostling. Definitely don't want this Mox Diamond. I think we want the, the Stoneforge Mystic, right? And then maybe we want the sword too. So now Stoneforge Mystic has Batter Skull and Sword. Uh, equipment plays really well in a Mana Crypt deck too. Just having the uh, the extra mana to pay equip costs makes those cards a lot better. I'm gonna grab Chandra out of this pack. The Clifftop Retreat's really tempting. Chandra is a really, really good card. Stripmine is also a really good card. However, we already have two colorless sources in our mana base, the Mox Emerald and the Mana Crypt. So I don't think we, I don't think we can afford to run it at all. I'm probably just gonna grab the Season Pyromancer here. Really wish we had a plateau for our mana base. Pia is good with sword. However, 
Season, Py Season Pyromancer is just a better card than P and K. Oh, shit. One of these is a constructed card, right? He Night Insect thinks the Sod thinks the two months. Wall of Omens. Didn't we already see a wall? I thought we saw a wall in our first pack. Was it a different thing? There's like some one in a white defensive value thing that I wasn't interested in. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of the other draft. I don't know. There's like no chance we play Bergy, but I'll grab it anyway. What up? You also saw a wall? Okay. So yeah, yeah, I guess they, maybe it's just a, a bug. Hey, Chicken Chaser thinks they're 29 months. Yeah, sometimes drafts like blur together and I and I get confused. What if chat's telling me that I also saw a wall of omens? Yeah, Hazard's dope. Sword of Body Man's also good, but we already have a sword, so it's not a... I don't want two swords in here, right? It'd be replacing the worn piece. Whereas Hazard's just like a pure addition. Manic Vandal and Shieldbreaker in this cube. I'm gonna grab Char. We're low on burn. Like right now we just have Fire Blast. I'm still pretty worried about my mana. At least we have these two pieces of fixing. If we cut the hero blade hold, we could go down to seven white sources. Might be doing that. A fast hero blade hold's really good, but if we want to play the fire blast, we kind of have to wait it towards mountains. No reason to play this Tarn. I'm a little bit worried about the Usher, right? Having the, the white mana early on. We do only need the one, though. Mental Misstep, I don't think is main deckable in every deck. I think this deck very much wants to play it. You want to slow down the unfair decks, if you can like copy, counter a, a ritual or something. And then you also really, really, really care about removal with this deck, right? Like a one mana removal spell, being able to counter one of those could be GG. Yeah, Young is bad here, but like, it's a two drop, right? It's a two minute two one. I think it's better than Ball of Omens. Bergy or FTK could be okay, but we already have like a ton of three and four, and we're light on twos. So even if Young Pyromancer is a, uh, a Goblin Piker, I still want it. Over the cards on my sideboard at least. Mountains or Fire Blast. There are two Wall of Omens, but we saw both of them twice, Benegade.
Yeah, I really want one more mountain. I'm not cutting a fucking Mox Emerald for a mountain, though. I fucking refuse. Oh, I had room. Sweet. Updating stream maker now. I do not think our Boros Agro deck wants to be playing 18 mana sources, no. If we cut a card, if we cut a card for a mountain, it wouldn't be one of our like 4 2 drops or whatever. It would be something more expensive. It'd be like Conclave Tribunal. When you're playing an aggro deck, you kind of need threats kind of need to curve out. So sometimes you end up playing bad threats. Because it's more important that they're in the curve than having nothing to apply pressure with. Some of y'all haven't played a Jackal Pup and it shows. You like Hero over in the hearing? How many white sources? do you think you want in your Hero Blade Hold deck? Not great. If we go to four, we could find, like, we could sag into a Mana Crypt, Ralph Master Hand, and that would be better. Having Pyromancer in your Molda. Molda five on the play, though. Makes up for a little bit. No second land for the opponent here. of Flame into Talisman of Dominance. I was not expecting that. Rite of Flame into Talisman of Dominance into Knight's Whisper. I should have just gotten a Nahiri downtick on the Talisman after they did all that work to put it into play. We are ripping lethal next turn, though. They do have to do something kind of impressive this turn. Tinker for Black Lotus. They're just building Storm with that Tinker. Because they spent three mana and they got three mana. They could have, um... Yeah, Yawgmoth's Will to, like, get it back. Get Valley out of the Will that way. The Red-White Shock Land is Sacred Foundry. The Dual Land is Plateau. We have neither in our deck, unfortunately. Oh shit, what up? Hey, if the tank 72 thinks of the sub, thinks they get months. Kinda looks like an empty the Warren's turn. 
Why does Zara be scary? Yay! Be quietly on F6 sing over here <laughs> as they draw me into Fire Blast. I think our Storm matchup's actually pretty insane. We have Archon, Lodestone Golem, Mental Misstep, and we're applying a lot of nice fast pressure. I almost like Grim Monolith. Let's play Grim Monolith over Young Pyromancer. Is this another way to get Lodestone Golem down faster? Usually against Storm, you don't care about threat density. You care about pressure because you want to kill them like really fucking fast. But you don't care about threat density because they don't have a lot of removal. So like a single threat, like a Rowl Master, can just get it done by itself. So we need the Young Pyromancer less, but we very much care about speed, especially when it comes to like Lodestone Golem coming down. And the Monolith could also just, you know, help cheese a fast dragon or something. The only thing I don't like here is the Conclave Tribunal, but they do have Tinkers, so maybe they have a backup plan. Maybe they're tinkering for something that we want Conclave for. They're not getting Lotus. Yeah, the Conclave is probably not good, but these other cards also look bad. The difference between this cube and regular Vintage Cube is that every few minutes I have to explain the difference between this cube and regular Vintage Cube. This is Minguchi's cube. He has been... It's a powered cube. He personally has been tuning it with his friends for years. To five we go. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Gobius thinks they eight months. Well, we put it also mold. Nice five, I wish. I wish, friend. So, if they don't have a removal spell or a counter and we draw a mountain here, I think we get to win this race. They basically have to have nothing and we need to rip a red source. Looks like they've got something. Yeah, it's a pretty good something. Because that'll block the Rattle Master. Also, my count's off. A bread source wouldn't do it. We'd get them to one from 13. Tinker is fucked, but I don't, I don't think that was, uh, I don't, I don't think that was the broken card they played on. <laughs> also, wasn't my chat telling me that Tinker wasn't in the cube? Bunch of fucking liars. <laughs> so Tribunal seems even worse. 
even worse now that we've seen the other thing that they're tinkering for. So we're gonna pull that. I don't know, add Prop Pyromancer back in. Well, it's not a bold of four, so I don't know if I like it. The issue with this hand is we just don't have any of the like anti-fast shit, and we're not very explosive. And we don't have mental misstep or anything. Weird with 17 lands. Yeah, I mean, it's 15 lands and two uh, artifact accelerants, but... but you're not wrong. We have done a lot of mulling. One landers. Not gonna activate Stoneforge next turn. Just gonna cast Rabble Master, I think. Unless we draw a mana crypt, in which case, which case we're just gonna sword equip. Dang, rich gamer. I hope, I hope it goes well for you. I hope, uh, I hope work, work doesn't suck too bad. Same gamer. There's a drive through thing happening here in Madison. There's some fucking broken cards. to play my land just in case Bell Striker connects. Yeah, stupid dumb. Meanwhile, like thousands and thousands of people are vaccinated and just fine. We have like all the data. People will believe what they want, though. Hey, Preeves, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 20 months. Yeah, you would hope that people would come around as, like, more and more folks get vaccinated. Well, you want enough folks to be vaccinated so that herd immunity is a thing. And the quicker people get it, the, the faster that happens. Faster we get back to normal seam. I was really hoping the like large businesses the brain freezing self, that's pretty cute. Would be able to like mandate it for employees and stuff, or like give bonuses if their their employees get vaccinated. Cause I think that's one of the only ways that some more conservative areas will end up getting there. Yeah, we're super dead, huh? Underworld Breach plus uh, Black Lotus Brain Freeze, full full graveyard. GG. This is what I was worried about when I kept the hand. A lot of nice pressure here. 
We have a, certainly have a fast clock with the cards that I had. Really could have used Mana Crypt in the opener for the turn one Rabble Master. But yeah, fast clock is like not quite good enough um, against the Nut Storm deck, unless you have uh, Disruption. I was worried about Mulling to Oblivion and then just like having a Tinker draw. Or us Mulling to Oblivion and like not finding a hate spell anyway, because our, our curve was reasonable. And you can also like keep the hand that you kept and they like don't kill you turn four, or you keep the hand that we kept here. Um, they don't have as many blockers, like they don't have the spell sky we get more damage in. Or we keep the hand that we kept and then we draw into disruption. Those were all like different paths to victory. Yeah, that's sweet, Samuel Donoka. I've heard of a few different businesses doing that. Giving like a couple days paid time off for folks to get vaccinated, that sort of deal. Oh shit, what up? Hey Maximus Prime, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 27 months there. <sighs> Correct, man it mana in. Meanwhile, you have like thousands and thousands and thousands of COVID deaths. It seems seems like a very obvious decision to me. Oh shit, what up? Hey, the Cryptic Command, thanks for the 34 months there. Where you been at, Archon? <laughs> where, you, where were you last match? We did draw it. We drew it in the game that they fucking murdered me murdered me with 7-Eleven. Uh, hmm. If you're keeping three cards, it's not like the worst three cards. Mana Crypt Legion War Boss would have been better. Stips right now. I want to focus on not tilting off my goddamn rocker. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, here he's probably better than Lodestone in this matchup. Lodestone's still sweet off a of fast mana crypt, but with the opponent doing like green rampy stuff, it gets a lot worse. Great main deck card against like Storm and Control. more along the speed we were trying for him with this deck. Nineties X-Men, you can always verify your stuff yourself. Turn one kill!
No workshops. You have to make your appointments separately. It's not like I just show up and I get vexed sort of deal. Fast cube, very fast. Hmm. Don't you like Tribunal or Char the Mystic? Probably Tribunal in. Just to slow them down a little bit. I like getting another attacker in though. Build him five this turn instead of three. Seems like a big difference. fan. We don't have lethal for a char, right? No, no, no. Yeah, let's fire off this tribunal. back-to-back two-and-one. I think our deck is good. Like, I'm usually pretty happy with my Mana Crypt red aggro decks with two different Rebel Master effects. We've had a couple of other cards that play really well with Mana Crypt, too. Hazard, for example. Five-minute game. Yeah, that was like a five-minute match. Pretty nutty. I'm not sure why that matters, Suspen Arm. Why are you just trying to, like, stoke fear? <clears throat> fear over a fucking preventative vaccine that's been proven effective while people fucking are still dying of COVID. Fire Blast, no threat draw. Yeah. Yeah. I 
nice we bid one of our fours. I'm not thrilled about the sword. Gotcha, Sespinarm. Blackblade and takes the five months. I also want to go back to live music very badly. I'm with you, Rich Gamer. Seed and Forest, I think the 19 months. Plus one for live music. Well, I guess <laughs> the sword stopped them from gaining four life. It was like four damage there, huh? Do I have any more tap progress or ideas? Yeah. I want to get the name Yorgelmundern. I want to get the World Serpent. Oh shit, what up? Yormungandir? I don't know. I want to get the World Serpent wrapping around my uh, my arms and my torso. Be kind of a large project. Pretty involved. Might take me a while to have it get done. The artist that I want to use in Madison, I heard, is taking a break too. So it might be a while before it happens. But he's done two uh, tattoos on one of my arms already, so it would like fit fit pretty well. Irish Prophet, thanks for the 23 months. How's Mega Cube treating me? Uh <laughs> mixed I guess I want this. Jorman Gander. Exactly, SMTN. And uh, and I ordered new speakers on Impulse a bit ago. And it looks like those are showing up early. I think we get to clear the Nissa if this is all they have. So we bring back Earthshaker. Roof Blocker, 6 Nissa. I was not expecting Bizarre. Yeah, so it should, should just be the best day ever. Thanks, SMTN. How many amps? I don't, I don't even, what? <laughs> I think the bazaar might be in here to get value with like with excavator or something. Oh, Sometimes people play with Crucible, Bazaar Baghdad. Hey Tubbs Malloy, I think it's the 44 months there. Are they like the speaker from Back to the Future? They're gonna feel like that. Hey, 
Hey, your mom's breeding pool. Thanks for the 10 bucks. Yeah, fucking happy birthday to me. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Lord Bergy, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 13 months there. Lord says, best part of being subs, sweet, sweet MTG. Worst, politics, science talk, but fun games and cool hosts keep me coming back. Cool. Well, I mean, I think politics and science talk are important, so that's part of the, the cool host package. That shit's just gonna keep happening. Mm. That whole real life thing. Oh shit, what up? What did I order? I fucking splurged my ass off. And got a um, got a pair of Uh, Air Pulse A300s. I went down a really deep rabbit hole. I was originally looking for something a lot more reasonable. And I went down a really deep rabbit hole listening to like audio comparisons and comparing all these fucking specs and stuff and... Caring about the size of my room. But they should last me a long time. Right now they're just gonna be for my um for my record player, but I'm also gonna end up putting a TV in that room because it's the it's like a living room kitchen combined. So it's a fairly large space. And then I'll be able to hook up the, the TV and the record player to the same sound system. That'll be pretty cool. I think, I think I will end up getting my, my money's worth. <laughs> we'll see, but <laughs> anyway. My birthday gift to myself. When I said splurge, you were not expecting that price. Were you expecting, were you expecting more? Fucking audio files spend infinite on audio equipment. So like it's a large number for me, like a, like a thousand dollar pair of speakers is, is way more than I was oh, considering shit. spending, but, but for a dedicated audio file, it might just be like first level, barely acceptable speakers. Oh shit, what up? I have all those different levels different levels that you can go deep on things. It's kind of like that with magic, right? Like what's an expensive deck for one person is like nothing for another person. Oh shit, what up? With, with black bordered beta duels and shit. Hey Schmitzels, thanks for gifting some subs. Yeah, Rich Gamer, thanks for the resub, thanks for the, the, the sub, the happy birthday, appreciate it. Red double six six six, thanks for the sub. Thanks everybody. Congratulations to Alex MTG, X Brain Eater, Kim Chewy Cowboy, Pepis Dog, and Machine TV. Congrats to all you fine folks, and thanks, Schmitzels. Hell yeah, Mistake by the Lake. Good on you. $1,000 is cables for an audio file? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. funny thing about being an audiophile is that anyone can just say they are one. Yeah, I mean, it's just like saying that you're like a fan of something or into something, right? It's just like anything else. That's a fair point. Looks like they had creature stuff. We're gonna be on the draw, so Lodestone's a little bit worse. How's that compared to what I spent on my headphones? I'm actually not happy with my headphones. Um, I used to get these like $100 pair, or like maybe maybe they're less than that, 
this like eighty to one hundred dollar pair. Um, and I think I like got used to that audio quality. And I spent like I think a little under three hundred for the ones that I'm using right now. And I like them less. I wish that I had like been able to try them out. Kind of hate this hand. Anyway, when I replace these, I'm just gonna go back to that old, that old hundred dollar brand. Noise cancellation headphones are pretty worthless for me because I live in a house by myself. <laughs> there's there's no other noise. <laughs> hey Lord Bergy, thanks for gifting a sub. Tatika Tika twelve. Congrats Tika Tika. I'd also like rather there was less weight, less weight on my head, which is one of the issues that I have with these is that they're heavy. They're heavy and the audio quality is just. Not really better than what I had before. What headphones did I get? Uh, these are some Bayer Dynamic. It doesn't say the model on it. Amarin. They are Bayer Dynamic Amarins. And they're just plugged into my um, my speaker jack. <laughs> he does not recommend them. <laughs> Yeah, it was well. It was a well re well reviewed pair of headphones. Usually, I go through all the reviews and I check everything out, and then I'm happy with my decision. Like after going deep and stuff. But it's not like you can, you know, try on a pair of headphones when you're just reading reviews and stuff. Certainly not the end of the world. They're not like trash, right? Like the audio quality is fine. The and they're not like hugely uncomfortable. They're just heavier than I would like. And and I don't like how they sound much. The mullet's coming in nicely. Yeah. I actually need another haircut pretty badly. Been a minute. So I think we just have to fucking kill this whisper wood before it gets too crazy. A dedicated amp for my headphones. That sounds like a bit much. I'm probably wrong. It's probably not a bit much. It's probably just correct. Because everyone's been giving me the same recommendation there, but... I feel like the more shit I have to plug in to make something work, the less happy I am. <laughs> the less keen I am about it. I tried to upgrade my mic setup a while back, and it was just this big fucking headache. I spent a lot of money trying to upgrade the sound quality of my stream. I had like friends trying to help me out. I had like audio engineers trying to help me out. And then in the end, like I just ended up keeping my, my regular mic.
my mic is always sounded clear. Yeah. Um, but it is a, it is just like a plug and play USB mic. They're going to sound clear, but they're also going to pick up like everything. So like if I fucking shuffle sleeves, you're going to hear it. If I cr crinkle a piece of paper, you're going to hear it like very loudly, especially because my hands are even closer to the mic than my face is. Whereas the nice thing about um, a regular microphone, like not a USB mic, is it'll um, I guess I'm taking Vraska. They're fucking 80 life. Is it's only gonna pick up uh, like what you're putting in from your mouth, right? It's only gonna like look at this area to pick up the sound. It's gonna be more directed. So it would be an upgrade, it would sound nicer. It would take a little bit of getting used to. Like it would sound different. Right, Hodge, yeah. Yeah, if you come from a stream that has like really good sound quality, you'll notice. You'll notice on my stream. The music does a lot for it. The music covers up like random background noises a lot of the time. One of the many reasons I enjoy listening to tunes. Sound volume is not the same thing as sound quality, but thank you. Aw, oh, thanks, itty bitty kitty can. Hey, Mana Traders, thanks for the $10. Or, I'm sorry, this is from Man Traders. Used to donate more, but I was told not to make it a habit. Pushing other Twitch streamers. Sure. Well, I appreciate the donation. Should I grow my hazard? just off of it. I was not planning on losing Nebraska. I was going to send uh, at least a few things at Nebraska. The Goblin was going to make a 1-1. That would have been helpful. 